Well, ladies and gents, it has happened. George Honeyman is no longer a Hull City player. Stuff. Stuff that makes me cry. But it is what it is. He's joined Millwall for an undisclosed fee. He signed for them on what I believe is a... Well, it says they have a long-term contract for an undisclosed fee. And Millwall's statement. So... There's nothing else. Well, City have released a statement on it. I'll try and... Uh, I'll try and show it on here, actually. Um, I have, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, we'll see if this works. So I'll go to... I'll go to Millwall's statement because cities haven't City haven't released one where it just says a long term contract for an undisclosed fee and he's flown out to their training camp in the Republic of Ireland and look there he's already been training with them. So it's sad. It's sad. I love George. I love George to bits. He's a lovely, lovely bloke. Such a nice guy. So calm. And he was such a good player for us. But, you know, we were... You know, Tan and Adjun, they, they recognised what... How key a player he was. Tried to offer him... Well, they extended his option to buy them more time in trying to get him tied down to a longer-term deal. He rejected the first contract. Then he rejected the second one. Rejected the second one because he didn't think it was long enough. He didn't think it was long enough. And with his age, you know, 27, he might have wanted a bit more security than that to take him up till he was sort of 31, 32, when maybe we were... I think we were only offering him... Two, a two year deal with an extra year option maximum because that's all we've offered uh, all, that's all, what we've given all the new signings other than Sai Admanesh two fans are two plus one Figueredo's are two plus one Triore's are two plus one Seri's are two plus one when they're all confirmed that is um, well they basically have been confirmed by, uh, by Tank Kessler but yeah but yeah, George going, it's sad. It's sad. His stats for City then, he when he joined well he joined us in twenty nineteen from Sunderland for about four hundred grand. Uh, he made his debut coming off the bench when we beat Reading two one at home on Saturday the tenth of August twenty nineteen. Made his first start for us uh, the following game in the Carabao Cup against Tranmere Rovers on Tuesday the 13th of August 2019. He struggled in his first season, he really did. He was one of those sorts of players who just run about and wouldn't really do much. But then he, he came into his own that second half of the season. Second half of the season after lockdown... He'd found his feet and George Honeyman was incredible. He gave absolutely everything. And for me, he was one of the standout players in our 8-0 drubbing to Wigan purely because he never gave up. He gave everything. Absolutely everything. And, you know... He, there was him and Keane Lewis Potter, for me, the only two players out of that game who walked away with any credibility. Honeyman, because he did not stop. And Keane, because that poor local boy was devastated. He was absolutely gutted. 
and he he went on the pitch for long either, so he couldn't he couldn't do much, but he gave it his all. George gave it his all, and you know that's one of the positives out of that. It made people notice Honeyman more, and then the following season in League One, wow, what a player, what a player. Overall, in all competitions, forty five games. It was 43 starts, I think it was, with two subs, two sub appearances. Scored four goals, all of them in the league. Was up there with most assists in League One, and he was the key player in guiding us to the league title. And then this season, we missed him for quite a while at the start of the season while he was out with injury. But as soon as he came back, we never looked back. We never, ever looked back. In the league, 34 starts, one appearance off the bench when he came back from injury against Sheffield United. And even then, he brought in a bit of bite we hadn't had in the midfield. We were on a terrible run, hadn't scored since the opening day. Honeyman came on, just did not take any... It didn't take any from... Um, from their midfield, from Billy Sharp. He was right in the face. Just a shame Grant maybe rushed him back a little bit. But then he came back against, I think it was against Barnsley, first game back. Um, I'll find it. His first game back... No, his first game back was Huddersfield. His first game back was Huddersfield. And that, you know, that game, that game wasn't great. But, you know, he, he changed that game. It was... He was key for us. He changed our fortunes. He was key for us in the midfield. Battled hard. Won every ball. Fought for every ball. And it's a massive loss. 103 appearances. Um, well, 103 starts for us. Um, with sub appearances. That totals to 127 appearances for Hull City in all competitions having scored 10 goals and was our player of the season in the 2020-21 season it's a risk it's a risk to to let George go but he he thought that you know I, I won't get the player time that I want I'm not going to be a key player here anymore because they're offering me, because they're off, well, they're investing heavily in this midfield area. So I June and Tan, they said, well, they thought, well, that's not going to be the case. They didn't think that would be the case. But then they said, you know what, if you want to leave, if we're going to let you go, now's the time, because you've only got a year left on your deal. You're not going to sign a new contract with us, and we don't want to lose you for free this time next year. So reluctantly, I June. Ajun has allowed him to leave. He didn't want to let him leave. But it is what it is. We've got a fee for him, which is the main thing. Uh, what that fee is, I don't know. It, it was described as a nominal fee by Hull Daily Mail and Baz Cooper the other day. But... Um, Forgotten what I was gonna say. I've forgotten what I was gonna say. Is there anything else been said on Millwall's site and have City actually fixed the website so the statement shows up? I don't think they have. So I can't read City's statement on it. So yeah, sad to see George go. But time moves on. Time moves on. We're developing somewhere. We're, we're getting somewhere now. We've made the signings. We've well, Tan Kessler's confirmed. We've made all the signings. We've just got to announce them. We're waiting on Seri's family decision. So, like I say, it's a shame to lose George, but in the end, at the end of the day, it is what it is. 
Um, massively, massively thank him for his time here. What a player. What a person. And, well, yeah, I wish him luck. I wish him luck at Millwall. I wish him luck for, for the future. And we'll... Finally, just before I leave, uh, I've just finished recording the actual bit, but the club have just released... Uh, because their statement still isn't working. They've released George Honeyman's words on leaving. Where he said, I'd like to put on record how much I've enjoyed my last three years at Hull City. Everyone from the area has made me and my family feel so welcome. A big thank you to everyone working at the football club. The manager, players and staff who are quite simply a tremendous bunch of people. I'd also like to thank Adjun and Tan for helping with this process. And finally, the biggest thank you is to the fans. Your support has been unwavering and I hope I did you proud whenever I put on a Hull City shirt. Thank you for everything and good luck for the future. Up the Tigers. Oh, George. Don't, it doesn't make it any easier reading that. So that is that. Is that. Uh, hopefully I'll have a kit launch reaction out soon when they release it. Hopefully I'll have... Um, my confirmed videos on all the new signings because Tan Kessler said yesterday Baxter's done, Figueredo's done, two fans done pending a medical, Triore's done, Aliar's done, and Seri is 90% of the way there. It's just a case of waiting for his family to say yes, which Ajun and Tan both think will happen. So. Yeah, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much, George Honeyman. I'll see you later. Take care. Goodbye.